Okay, in this video, basically, I will, I will teach you about how to find the inequality equation for this diagram because actually one of the students asked me how how to find the equation for the inequality. So I'm going to teach in this video. All right, so the first thing is whenever you want to form the equation, you, you will need to understand something, which is the first thing is you have to understand about y equals mx plus c because this is how we form the uh, equation of the straight line or sometimes they call it linear line actually it's the same meaning right so yeah in order to find the inequality you you will basically need to find the three straight line in this diagram which you can find uh, you you can see from your eyes so the first one is like ba basically is this line yeah so you have this line I call it one line two line and three line so basically you need to form three equation so after that, you will need to from the three equation then change to three inequality. All right. So the first thing is, of course, I I will take the the easiest one. So yeah, maybe I can try to label the line. So this is the first line. Okay. So the first line basically is 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 the y axis itself. All right. So the y axis itself, this one is the first line. All right. Then the second line, uh, this is a dashed line. Okay, this dashed line actually will passing through uh, 4 on the x axis and will passing through 8 on the y axis. So I, I call this one in the second equation. And my third equation basically, it, you can find out that this equation it will actually passing through uh, 0, 0 and then passing through 2, 2, passing through 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, something like this. So this one I call it third equation. Alright, so I will, okay, I will teach you how to find the first equation. So you just remember, whenever you see the equation itself is the y-axis. Okay, y-axis, we have an equation for it. y-axis we call x equals to 0. Okay, this is the equation for y-axis. So the first line is x equals to 0. Okay, so you just remember the x-axis basically means y equals to 0. Just in case the exam asks about x-axis. So you just remember x-axis means y equals to 0. Okay, but however you're not going to use the x axis in this question but you will need to understand y axis means x equals to zero all right okay before i go to the second equation i will jump to the third equation first first your third equation basically is very easy so the third equation actually called y equals to x y equals to x because what when x equals to two y equals to when x equals to two you see y basically equals to two when x equals to four you will see y equals to 4 because on this straight line itself he passing through something like 4 4 2 2 and 3 3 something like this and 0 0 so you can find out the x value and y value is the same i, I mean the coordinates value is the same on on this straight line that means x and y will be the same so this equation itself we call it y equals to x all right so yeah th these two equation considered quite simple so, but then you will have one more equation which you will need to use y equals to mx plus c, yeah, which is we call it the, uh, the, the second equation over here. All right, all right, whenever you want to do y equals to mx plus c, something very important is the gradient first. In order to find the gradient, you will need two coordinates. So, for the second equation, you will see a dashed line over here, or they call it dotted line. So, I, I can randomly pick any two coordinate on the line so over here may maybe i try to pick uh the line which is i call it four zero okay so i have one coordinate here okay for the second equation the first coordinate i call it is four zero and then the second equation i pick i pick this one uh which is which is uh zero eight zero eight however if you understand about the c c actually means y intercept so for this dotted line or dashed line, it's actually passing through the y-intercept. I, I mean passing through the y-axis at the values of a. So at the same time, I understand my c value is equals to a. So I just need to find my gradient and then substitute my gradient into y equals to ms plus c. Then I can easily get the equation. So I will need to find the gradient. The gradient basically is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So my y2 in this case, maybe I, I take a as my y2 minus mean the y value minus the y value. So 8 minus 0 over the x value, which is 0, 
minus the x value, negative 4. Then you simplify this one, you can find out it's 8 over negative 4, which is negative 2. Now I have my gradient, which is negative 2, and then I have my uh, y-intercept, which is 8. So I know my equation is called y equals to negative 2x plus 8. Alright, now I have all the equation but then the equation itself is it doesn't means the inequality because inequality means it must have the symbol something like less than less or equal than bigger or bigger and equal you must have all this symbol then only we we, we consider it as an inequality so yeah so the first thing is you have to see the di diagram in order to find the inequality so have a look on the first equation which is the y-axis so you can find out the shaded region actually is on the is is on is on my right hand side. So right hand side, so you just imagine right hand side actually the value is become bigger and bigger, right? If if the va if I move this one to my right hand side, you can find out the value actually become one, two, three, four, five, six until infinity. So this one we call it x is bigger than zero. Because the value here is bigger than zero. X is bigger than zero. So if, if I move on the other side, mean left hand side, you can find out x actually is negative value and which is less than zero. So in this case, I, I got my first inequality correct, which is called x equals to, uh, x is bigger to zero. But then my y axis is not the dotted line, so it's bigger or equals to zero. Okay, you you will have bigger or less than when it's this dashed line like this one. That's, that's mean your inequality do not have the equal sign at the below here. Right, so I, I will try to find my second equation, which is this one, the third equation. You can find out y equals to x. Okay, this is full line, so la later I will have the equal sign. Alright, so, okay, for this line, so you have to determine whether it's bigger or less than. So you're trying to imagine, so the shaded area is here, so I'm going to move this direction. So if I move this direction, my value will become bigger or become lesser so you have to imagine so you just imagine if if the line can continue move uh go up until infinity basically your value will become bigger and bigger because your y value actually keep on increasing okay so most of the time we actually focus on the y value if y value is keep on increasing then this one is called y is bigger than x this one called y is bigger or equals to x because the y value actually keep on increasing one. You imagine if if you go until here, like y will become 8, 10, 12, until 100, until 1000, until infinity. So if the y value is increasing, we call y is bigger than x. Alright. Because you just imagine if if this line, I, I mean the shadow region and below here, actually you can imagine the y value is decreasing. So the one will be less or equal. Okay, so the last one, so this is my second equation, second inequality, alright? The last one is a dotted line. Okay, dotted line, we just found the equation, uh, which is y equals to negative 2x plus 8. Okay, now you have to imagine, so if you have the dotted line like this, now our shadow region is be below here. So you just imagine if this line go in this direction, Actually, the y value will be increasing or decreasing. This dotted line, actually this one is, is not the full line. This is a dotted line. You just imagine the dotted line will go below. You can find out actually the y value is decreasing, isn't it? So if y value is decreasing, means y will be less than, y will be less than negative 2x plus 8. So in this case, because this is dotted line, so I will not draw the equal signs for my less than, uh, for this less than symbol. So this is my third inequality. Alright, so I hope this short video actually can make you un understand about this inequality. So yeah, because this inequality question, you will need to able to imagine. Yeah, so which one is bigger, which one is less than, when, when you will have the equal sign, when you do not have the equal sign. And then... Of course, for this, well, most of the inequality question in SBM Modern Math, they will give you the equation. But this one is a special one. They ask you to find the equation. Okay, anyways, I hope this video do help you to understand about this one. So if you still cannot un understand, you can post a comment on my YouTube or on my Facebook channel. Anyways, thanks for watching.